Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the December 21st, 2020 uh, regular meeting of City Council. And uh, it's also our holiday Christmas edition. So, right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I knew you'd have it done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, welcome and welcome to all the people listening at home and, and join us, joining us on the YouTube. Uh, so if we want to start, start the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, if you would please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for, which for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God. God. Indivisible, Indivisible with liberty, liberty and justice. And justice. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Here. Kochi? Here. Spinks? Here. Janudis? Here. Blue Hardy? Here. Nizak? Here. And we need a motion to excuse Councilwoman Rhodes for tonight by Spinks, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluhardy? Yes. Mizak? Yes. Thank you. Uh, Council, you have the minutes excuse me, of the work session of December 7th, 2020. Any corrections to those? Excuse me. Seeing none, can I have a motion for acceptance? By Mizak, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Koti? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Misak. Yes. And Council, you have the minutes of the regular meeting of December 7th, 2020. Any corrections to those? Seeing none, and I have a motion for acceptance by Spinks, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluhardy? Yes. Nizak? Yes. And we have no old business tonight, so we will get to the reports. Uh, Mr. <laughs> City Manager. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. I uh, just have a couple items I, I wanted to share. Uh, first, I wanted to thank all of our um, officers all of the volunteers and especially all of the donors um, who helped with the shop with a cop this past weekend. Um, it was obviously, it had to be done in a much uh, different way than in years past, but you know, it turned out to be very successful. We were able to, um, you know, our officers were able to acquire some lists and we went shopping and they were able to um, deliver all of those items that they were able to, to um, purchase. And obviously that was made possible through generous donations. So I want to thank all of them for once again, um, you know, making that that program happen under a very challenging year. Um, and, and with that, you know, there's no doubt, I think that this year has been a challenge for every single one of us. Um, but you know, the holidays are also times to be, to be thankful for and, and not to lose sight of some of the things that are important. And I wanted to just take a minute and, and thank all of the residents um, in town for, you know, their patience, for, you know, being flexible with, you know, how, um, you know, we've changed how we deliver services and how we do business um, that does not go unnoticed. And I appreciate that cooperation. Um, I wanted to thank our business owners. I know that that's been challenging as well. Um, you know, some of them have contributed in many different ways, either through donations or in-kind efforts to, to help one another. 
and and that is very appreciative and and you really learn um you get to see what a, a true community is and um i appreciate that and i i want to thank all of our employees um obviously no doubt things have been challenging but we have change the way we deliver and do business. And I think it is a silver lining. We've learned a lot. Um, we've helped one another. We've helped um, those in need in the community. And again, I don't think any of that can, you can't get through a year like this year um, without everybody working together. And that is the residents, the businesses, your coworkers. And obviously I, I want to thank city council and mayor Kochi and, um, and Frank and John and all the department heads, um, you know, there's there's been days this year that have been trying. And I think collectively, you know, we, we've done a good job pushing forward. And we're going to continue to keep pushing forward and um, look for brighter days ahead. So I just wanted to send a quick thank you to everybody, um, you know, seeing how everybody responded and worked together and help one another definitely lifts your spirits and that's what that's what Bedford's about and I'm appreciative and thankful for for all of those groups and people so with that being said on on behalf of myself my family and and everybody um, our administration happy holidays and happy new year be safe and we'll see everyone soon thank you Mr. Montello law director well I just wanted to echo Michael's uh Michael's statements. I feel the same way about everybody. Thank you all and have, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Mayor, thank you for that point about that liquor license. Very good point, I got to say. I did not think of that. Thank you very much. End of report. Thank you. And Finance Director, Mr. Gambosi. Uh, Mayor, members of council, the community, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, at this point, I'd like to thank Jimmy Wagner, the man behind the camera, did a great job this year. I really think he's a very professional company, did a great job with all these uh, videos this year and uh, appreciate all his efforts. Uh, also, my employees, the employees of the city of Bedford, they did a fantastic job this year. Everything all considered what we've gone through, uh, a lot of cooperation, a lot of things done differently. Uh, we'll be addressing a lot of new issues coming into January this year. Uh, I'll be writing some letters to the public in regards to taxes and things of that nature. But uh, for this time of year, be thankful for what we have and uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and the report. Thank you. And City Council, Mr. Saunders. All right. I'd just like to quickly uh, wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year. I know this past year has been trying, and hopefully everybody's managed to stay healthy, and let's hope 2021 will be able to turn things around with the vaccine coming. Hopefully we can uh, manage to uh, knock this thing out in a reasonable amount of time. I do have a couple points. Uh, this one's for Mike. Christmas in Bedford Falls. I was surprised at the number of people that were in the downtown area, but I was also surprised and got several comments on it that the city of Bedford did not clean the sidewalks off this year. They were still full of snow and those crab apples were horrendous. They're all over the place and they were extremely slippery when wet. Uh, it didn't put our best face forward when this happened this year. Now, I know we've had some COVID issues with our employees and stuff too, but uh, hopefully for next year, we don't let the similar situation occur again. But uh, it, it was quite a mess there. So it, considering the number of people that were from outside of the city, because I talked to people in North Royalton, Strongsville, North Olmsted, there were quite a few people from outside the area that were in that area. Now, the second point, and I got this from a couple of the businesses, nobody's enforcing the hourly parking on Broadway. There are certain businesses that park there all day long and they're taking up spaces that some of our retail facilities uh, treasure because they want their people that stop in and so forth. So I don't know if uh, we can crack down on that for a little while 
and see if we can keep traffic moving off of Broadway from the parking. But uh, something probably needs to be done in that light. Uh, there's just two points of that. One, um, some of it has to do with signage, and I will touch on that in the weekly memo. I, I won't touch on that um, right now. The second point is last year, the Supreme Court ruled you cannot chalk tires, you can't mark tires. You have to have someone observe that and observe that car not move for two hours, and then you can issue that ticket. Oh, um, my. It figures. You cannot, you cannot chalk tires to where you could chalk it or, you know, mark it and come back. And if it doesn't move, you cannot do that. So that changes the dynamic. I mean, having an officer there, you know, and, and doing that, right. um, that's one challenge. And uh, I will say we have shared and, and communicated with some of the business owners downtown. Um, we did so as recently as last Friday and shared some of this with them. Um, and they were unaware of that. So that law definitely has changed the game. And that happened about a year ago. Um, and as far as the signage, I will, I'll, I'll have something in this week's memo regarding the signage. Um, and this, there, there is also, um, when we did our sign initiative, there was discussions as far as additional signage for public lots and things of that nature, which we are looking at. But I'll have more detail in this week's memo. All right, because the businesses on the northern end of Broadway rely on the street parking, especially because they're farther away from the muni lots. So that's more of an area that seems to be an issue. But uh, thanks for clarifying that. That's it. Thank you. Mrs. Spinks. Good evening, everybody. Today is the first day of winter. It's winter solstice. The gates of Winter Solstice is open. May this day bring you peace, tranquility, and harmony. Let the dark sink into silence so we can hear and see the light. This is bringing from Happy and Happy Solstice. Also, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah was last week. I want to cover everything. Um, I just want to take this moment to thank Mike, Malice, Frank, John, chief, both chiefs of doing just a splendid job for our city um, under these very trying times. I mean, we went through a lot of, and, and to thank our residents for being very patient um, through these trying times. It's, it's been a tough year. It started out in March. We missed, we were closed down during Easter. We went through, um, several holidays. We're going through a big one right now with Christmas coming up. And um, I do, and I thank him for you, thank you, Mike, for using your imagination and all of Cancel coming through. Um, I loved our 4th of July parade this year, downsides, being able to go on the side streets. Thank you, Mayor, too, for in all of Council. That was just so nice because we don't realize when we have those big days, it's a tradition, just like the Christmas tree lighting and stuff. We have so many uh, wonderful traditions here in Bedford. I'm, I'm kind of an outsider. I've been here for a while now, um, and I'm here to stay. But that, that's what makes me love this our city so much is our traditions and the things that I've heard people talking and seen on Facebook about uh, didn't have the Christmas tree lighting. That's all. people's favorite things about Thanksgiving the night before and families getting together. But families still were able to go down there. And I think Santa Claus got a lot, a lot of letters down in our mailbox uh, this year. And he's got a lot of writing, a lot of catching up to do because I think because people were coming from all over to be able to spend that special uh, moment with their grandchildren and their children. I know a lot of my uh, kids in my residence, they wrote letters to Santa. So that's great to still have those service department. And of course, Billy, he knows how uh, how much we love him and how he just does it a beautiful job in the summertime and uh, the lighting of the the downtown is just makes me so uh proud i shared that i was in uh, downtown uh, chagrin falls last night and heard someone say well you ought to see bedford's 
uh, lighting their yard to see their downtown. So that made me very the uh, that made me very proud of that. So um, I just wish everybody a safe uh, holiday. Um, be wise when you do get with uh, together with your family. Um, this thing is not gone. Um, just remember what the season is about as well. And I hope everybody has a blessed uh, Christmas and a very happy new year. And I will see you in 2021. And we're hoping that 20, 2021 will be a lot better for everybody. Thank you. In a report. Thank you. Mr. Janunas. Thank you. Well, yeah, you said it all, Sandy. I think <clears throat> that uh, you're right. A lot, a lot of things happened this year that uh, should make us all very uh, grateful and proud of our city officials and, and Michael, of course, and the whole staff uh, for you know managing uh, through this. And uh, this truly, this is the shortest day of the year. So from here on out, the light gets increases, and uh, I hope that we could uh, we all look forward to the new year. Uh, and uh, I just want to wish everyone a, a, just a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday of whatever sorts, and, uh, you know, a uh, Happy New Year. And uh, this is the time for us to rest. I know we've been resting all year long, unfortunately, but uh, just a few more weeks of uh, some quiet time uh, with our close to family members would, would really be a, a blessing. So. Best wishes to everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Fluharty. I also want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, everything else has been pretty much said. I also want to thank Mike and John and Frank and everybody at City Hall. Uh, you guys uh, have kept everything going for us uh, throughout this whole ordeal. And uh, it's really been great to know that you haven't had to lay anybody off or anything else. And uh, you guys have come up with some creative ways to uh, pull us through this uh, or whole ordeal. Uh, hopefully uh, things will get better and we get back to council chambers and get back to regular meetings and, uh, and everything else. So everybody stay safe and have happy uh, holidays and, uh, and a report. Thank you. Mrs. Mizek. Thank you, sir. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And whatever you feel is the right greeting, you can use it because we all say Merry Christmas on this DS here. I want to thank not only the administration, but our council, because we've been on hold for almost a whole year. We've been, we learned how to do Zoom. Matter of fact, I kind of mastered it now, so I don't know. I hope it we don't have to learn something new for the next year. But what I'd like to say is we've learned to survive most of this COVID here in this area by doing the right thing. Uh, we get calls from constituents that are down and out. If, if you're like myself and I know a couple others, we'll give them enough of time to listen to what they have to say and kind of give them a positive outlook. It kind of resolves itself. I feel that the leaves came and went, we got the snow, and then the leaves came and went again because our city was on top of it. And like I say, if we didn't have a good administrative uh, group that cared for the people that live in this city, uh, I think uh, somebody doesn't have their eyes open or they don't want to understand that we do work together here as best we can. Uh, we have a very reliable fire and police department, they're there in no time, no matter what the situation is. I have one question to Mike, uh, if he can. Uh, they're just, they're saying that some hospitals have already received dosages for these COVID uh, shots to be given out. I know that the first responders are definitely entitled to the first doses. Have we heard if it, any of it has come to our Bedford UH at all? for dosages to be given to the uh, employees there? Uh, I have not heard, no. I do not believe uh, they received any yet. Okay, thank you. And I just wanna, like I said, Sandy took it all and she took the ball running to say everything we had to say, how good we feel about our city. And I think we're Bedford proud. 
And God bless everybody. Stay healthy well. And we got to get through this next few months. And maybe we'll be back to normal and we can get to see each other more often. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. And since everybody said everything I wanted to say, I'm still going to say it again because <laughs> it's that important that, you know, I want to thank council. We're, we're all uh, working for the same, same goals here. Uh, like we say, it was a trying year. We got through it. And I think most of us are happy that 2020 is ending and really looking forward to 2020. So 2021, so we can move on and, uh, get going with things in a more normal fashion, whatever that is. Um, and, and I want to just give a special thanks to our administration, Mike, Frank, John, Tracy for our clerk. Uh, you guys do such a great job all year, all year. And our residents, you need to know these guys just work from the bottom of their heart. They are concerned about the city of Bedford. Uh, I get to see them uh, all the time, work closely with them, and, and they work so hard and do so much for us that that doesn't get seen in the public. Uh, and, and I wish sometimes we could see what they're doing, but uh, I want all of you to know they are working hard for all of us. And I thoroughly, thoroughly uh, want to thank each and every one of them for doing what they do. And uh, that goes for our, our employees too, all the way from the, the chiefs and the department heads down to the, the newest member of any of our departments. They do a terrific job. And, uh, you know, the fire getting through this, uh, going on on squad calls with this uh, virus out there just complicates everything. And the, and the police, they have to deal so up close with people and, uh, and they've come through it too, and and then our service department, and they're working shorthanded down there, but they're doing the job day in, day out, and and I'm just so proud of all of them, and and I don't want to just say it here at the end of the year, but every day I I thank them in my prayers that we have such a great group of people working together to get the jobs done. Is everything perfect? No, but we're sure darn close with. The, with the, the effort that our, our employees put in day in and day out. And again, just thanks to them. And thanks to our citizens for hanging in there, like many of you have said, uh, putting up with having City Hall partially closed, partially open and totally closed. And uh, I know it's a headache, but that's the hand we're dealt and that's, that's what we'll deal with. And uh, hopefully things will loosen up a little bit as we move along uh, through the new year. So again, thank you to everybody and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. Uh, enjoy your families as much as you can, whether it's on Zoom or in person and, uh, and have a, a happy and healthy new year. And, uh, I can't say more, and I know all of you council said the same thing. Just hang in there. We're gonna we're gonna pull out of this even stronger and better. So so thank you. And with that, let's get on to business. Being this is the last meeting of the year. All right. Order it's number ninety-eight thirty-seven dash twenty. An ordinance appropriating the city's coronavirus relief fund payment received pursuant to amended substitute House Bill 481 to the city's COVID-19 response and directing the city manager to declare a proclamation. And can I have a motion for suspension? I spink, second by Saunders. <coughs> Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? <laughs> yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Flu Hardy? Yes. Mesak? Yes. A motion for third and final. 
by Mizak, second by Janudis. And uh, I'll talk about it. This. Frank, you want to take that? Yeah, in regards to this ordinance, like just distributions one, two, and three, uh, the city was uh, lucky enough to get some additional funding from the uh, county, uh, as well as other cities, and a uh, small amount of nine or fifty-nine dollars and twenty-two cents that they just uh, had sent out to everybody. So we're accounting for that and how we'll spend it. Mostly, that's going to be PPE and supplies. Uh, and then in the meantime, we applied for a grant to receive from the county an additional $140,040. Uh, Jennifer Kuzma did that, our uh, grants uh, person, economic development coordinator. She uh, was able to obtain that grant. Uh, we will be uh, in our ordinance tonight for appropriations. You'll see that I'm advancing the funds. So we will utilize those funds towards uh, food distributions, door repairs, improvements to City Hall, and some labor costs. Uh, on first responders. And in doing so, we will be able to um, uh, get reimbursed from the county sometime next year for this, uh, these funds. So in, in addition to what we've received already, uh, kudos to her in obtaining that grant and we'll be able to do some improvements to Ellenwood as well as City Hall and the entranceways and make them no touch uh, facilities. Um, so I ask council to pass this ordinance as well as our appropriations later in the, in the uh, meeting tonight. Thank you, Don, you have a question? Yeah, I just wanna ask Frank so that the general public realizes how much Frank and Jennifer have worked along with Mike. What is the total money that we've gotten in grants this year because of the COVID? Do you have an idea? Um, CARES funds alone, not including some extra funds coming from the Bureau of Workers' Comp, which was substantial for us too. Uh, we're at 101,161,000 at this point. Uh, and uh, at that point of just uh, the CARES funds money uh, in relation to uh, improvements that we're doing and uh, a lot of projects that we're working on, as well as our first responders. Uh, that's what we're utilizing the funds for right now. I know it's been a trying year and uh, we thank you for being able to bring these funds up because otherwise we'd have to pay for them ourselves. So great uh, job. Appreciate the feds uh, giving us those funds. Thank and you. the governor. Any other comment? If I could just add yeah, one Mike. comment, I just wanted to kind of um, add to that. And I included it in uh, some of the figures in the memo the council last week, but to Don's point and, and kudos to Jen and Frank um, and other departments, we have received just over the last five years, just under $10 million in grants. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a lot of dollars. And that goes, you know, we've applied for grants that have been $800 <laughs> to, to plant some extra trees to a half a, a half a million dollar grant. So you know, for a city our size, it's substantial. Um, we're over, if you go back over 20 years, we're over $40 million. But just looking in the last five years, um, it's $9 million and change. And, you know, Frank's a big part of that. He puts keep, keeps track of all that. Some of it's to keep us in line to make sure we're following everything that we're supposed to. Um, but he does a great job and in, in our staff applying and locating it. Um, it definitely helps do what we've been doing. And, and, projects and, and things of that nature. And obviously those efforts benefited this year in helping us get through, you know, these, these times. And I might add in regards to infrastructure repairs and things of that nature too, uh, the grants come are invaluable in regards to obtaining funding from uh, federal, state, county uh, areas as much as possible. And that's what we strive to do all the time. And it does assist us a lot in getting all our projects done, so. Just thought I'd add that. Yep. Again, kudos. And uh, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Misak? Yes. And ordinance number 9838-20. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Allied Door Systems, Inc. and declaring an emergency. And I have a motion for suspension by Spink, second by Fluharty. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Misak? Yes. And motion for third and final. 
by Mizak, second by Saunders. Um, Mike, you want to take this and the uh, and you can explain the next one. They're kind of companion ordinances. Sure. Uh, one of the things that we looked at doing that some of the uh, grant dollars and funds that came in were able to uh, cover was uh, the public entrance ways at the municipal complex as well as at the Ellenwood Center. Um, they, they needed, the, they were aging, um, especially the one at uh, the Ellenwood Center is actually not being used right now. Um, we are looking to get um, sensor doorways to where they'll open automatically um, at both the east and west, west entrance of Ellenwood, as well as the main entrance at um, the municipal center and the entrance near the building and water departments. Um, what we did is the in the next ordinance, there's uh, a, a quote uh, we received and we recommend going with Ally Door, um, who came in at $20,182. Uh, we did receive a second quote that was um, close to um, $22,000. So they were over. Um, and it's our recommendation to go with Allied and make those replacements of the entranceways at the municipal center. Uh, same with at the Ellenwood Recreation Center, we received uh, multiple quotes. Allied was the uh, cheaper of the two quotes on the east entrance. They were a little above uh, the other quote on the west entrance, but it would make sense to go with the same company. Um, in addition, Allied, Allied also did the door replacements uh, at Ellenwood on the east entrance, which will stay, but they will be modifying that entry to include the sensors to where the doors will go automatically. Um, so in total, we'll be going with both of these next, both of the ordinances will go through Allied. Um, they will be funded through the um, through the grants, a uh, small portion coming out of the general fund through the um, Ellenwood Center improvements. And these entranceways, as I said, the public entranceways um, will be with sensors. They won't be a push button. Um, they'll be touch free, hands free and they'll open automatically. Thank you, any questions? Hearing none, uh, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Bluehardy? Yes. Mizak? Yes. Thank you. And before we get to the next one, I just want to remind everybody, if you have a comment during the uh, hearing of citizens, uh, please email uh, mike at citymanager at bedfordoh.gov, citymanager at bedfordoh.gov, and we'll get to those at the hearing of citizens. Okay, ordinance number 9839-20. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Allied Door Systems, Inc. and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension, please. By Janudis, second by Fluharty. Uh, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Mizak? Yes. And motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Janudis. And uh, Mike thoroughly explained this, so I think we can go right to the vote. Uh, anybody have a question? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Nisak? Yes. Thank you. Ordinance number 9840-20. An ordinance amending ordinance number 9750-19 passed December 16th, 2019, providing compensation for the clerk of court and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension by Mizak, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Nizak? Yes. And motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Janudis. Um, 
I'll take Thanks, this Frank, one. okay? Yeah, uh, in regards to the clerk's salary, uh, this it's a 60% match that the city, the city pays, plus 15% uh, of the allocation of the court costs. So net on this uh, amount of salary, uh, the city's responsible for just uh, just slightly over $18,000. It's uh, so, and that's for the whole count, uh, his whole payroll, uh, not including benefits. But in regards to this, it's a very reasonable increase compared to other cities. Uh, we look, uh, usually the uh, clerk makes 85% of the judge's salary. That's where this keeps them in line with that, too. And that's for uh, most clerks throughout the uh, state of Ohio. Thank you. And, and just to uh, say that our clerk of courts does a terrific job over there. Uh, Tom Day does a, a great job. He's uh, like the rest of our administration. He dealt through the uh, coronavirus remarkably well, and uh, he he deserves his comp compensation. And uh, the court has been a good partner with the uh, the city. Any questions? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders. Yes. Kochi. Yes. Spinks. Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Mizak? Yes. And the last ordinance of the year, ordinance number 9841-20, an ordinance amending ordinance number 9738-19, making additional appropriations for current expenditures of the City of Bedford, Ohio, during the year 2020 and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension, please. By Fluharty, second by Spinks. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Mizak? Yes. And a motion for third and final by Mizak, second by Janudis. And uh, Frank, I'll take this one. I had to get one last ordinance in as the last one for the year. Uh, <laughs> we have the $140,000 advance that we're going to be putting into the fund for the CARES money, uh, waiting for the county to reimburse uh, based on uh, what we'll submit for that for, two, for next year. Uh, we also have, in regards to that, some salt money, $30,000. we are setting aside extra in the street on I mean, our fund. We have the $140,000 budgeted, plus the that's number four and number five of the CARES Act funds included in this ordinance, as well as if you remember in council, we passed the last meeting a valve machine that's gonna help the uh, water department to be able to go down there and repair all the valves and the water lines that we have in the city. It's about $70,000 for that machine. Uh, but on the other hand, on the escrow account, OWDA, we won't need that. So we'll be reducing the budget in the sewer fund by $49,525. And I asked council to approve that this evening so I can get those appropriations in by year end. Okay, any questions? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Pochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Mizak? Yes. And with that, we come to the hearing of citizens. I say if somebody wishes to. Uh, Send out a comment, city manager at bedfordoh.gov. Mike, we have anything? Muted. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> no comments. I've been um, refreshing it uh, consistently and um, nothing as of yet. I'm doing it one more time. Yep, we'll give it a moment. Yeah, no comments. Okay. Uh, with that, I'll take a motion for adjournment by Saunders, second by Spinks. Mm -hmm. Clerk, call the roll, please. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Mizak? Yes. Council, thank you, administration, and again, Merry Christmas.
Happy Thank New you. Year. And see you all next year. Thank That's you. Merry right. Christmas, everybody. God Merry bless. Christmas. Right. Stay safe. Good night.